If you're looking to bet some underdogs on the money line today in Major League Baseball, you have come to the right place. Plus, got Monday Night Football. I have a play for you on Florida State Boston College. It was another winning day on the Power 5 yesterday. Went 3-2. and two. Now a ridiculous 42-20-3 run here on the show. Smash that like button if you've been enjoying all these free winners. Now let us get into Monday's card. As a reminder, you can always comment down below with any questions, comments, or thoughts on my selections. First up today, Cardinals Brewers under 8. This is a 2:10 Eastern start, so get those bets in early. Yesterday, I had a nice 3% winner for my clients going against Milwaukee who had their five-game win streak snapped in Cincinnati. Now, the Brew Crew are back home today facing a St. Louis team that just took two or three from the Yankees in New York. I like the starting pitching matchup we've got here uh, this afternoon. For Millie Wauke, Freddie Peralta coming off his best month of the season. He was 3-1 and one with a 2.89 ERA in five August starts. Comes into this afternoon, riding an 11-inning scoreless streak. Peralta also has allowed only three runs total in three starts against the Cardinals this season. That's over 17 innings pitched. Meanwhile, for St. Louis, you've got Andre Pallante on the hill. He's 2-0 and with the 2.12 ERA his last four starts. And as I've mentioned previously on the Power 5, Pallante has the best ground ball rate among all qualified starters. I like both bullpens as well. So under eight, it is in that one. Number two, D-backs, plus 120 on the money line. Versus the Dodgers. Some of you questioned me taking the D-backs on the first five uh, in yesterday's show down in the comments section. It's okay. I get it. They dropped the first two games to the Dodgers. But I told you they'd been swinging the bats well still. And wouldn't you know, they erupted for nine runs in the first five innings Sunday. Go on to win by a score of 14-3. to Wow. No reason to expect Arizona might slow down at the plate this afternoon. By the way, 4-10 Eastern start here. Highest scoring team in all of baseball this season is Arizona. And they're number one in WRC plus during the second half. The Diamondbacks are one of the few teams that can outslug the Dodgers. There's not many times that I would say a team has an offensive edge over LA, but Arizona does. Also, believe it or not, I don't see any kind of substantial edge on the mound today for LA. Yes, Jack Flaherty, 3.49 ERA and five starts since being acquired from the Tigers. But we're starting to see an increased velocity from Arizona's Eduardo Rodriguez, and the D-backs have won all four of his starts since he returned from the IL. I just can't pass up high-scoring Arizona at this price at home on the money line. Number three, another money line dog. Reds plus 140 versus the Astros. Uh, I already mentioned the Reds. They were a 3% winner for my clients on Sunday. I also cashed the over in the Astros 7-2 win over the Royals. So I've got a good read on both these teams right now. Now, the fact Cincinnati actually won a one-run game Sunday, that's cause for celebration. They're now just 12-26 and 26 in such contests this season. That partly explains why they're eight games below 500, despite having that positive year-to-date run differential. Been a while since I mentioned those two words. And like the Reds, uh, I like the Reds, I should say, uh, on the money line this afternoon. This is another 4:10 Eastern time game, by the way. I'm just not very impressed. This is what this boils down to, guys. I'm just not very impressed with how Justin Verlander has looked for Houston. Team has lost both of his starts since his return from the IL. He's got a 5.40 ERA in those two starts. I also think now is a good time to sell high on the Strohs after their four-game sweep at home against Kansas City over the weekend. Now they're hitting the highway. Alex Bregman may still be out of the lineup. They didn't need him against the Royals, but the Royals don't hit very well on the road. Fun fact for you, Houston has not beaten Cincinnati since 2016. Now, to be fair, these former division rivals have played only six times since then. But the Astros, my opinion, they're going to have to wait another day for that elusive victory over the Reds because I'm back in Cincy as Moneyline Underdogs today. Quick note for you guys, today is your last chance to take advantage of that special offer we've been running at wagertalk.com. You buy a two-week all-access pass, we'll throw a third week of service in at no extra cost. That is a full week of winners. NFL, college football, MLB, and soccer, free of charge. Three, three weeks, all sports for the price of two weeks, wt.buzz. Slash BP is the place to take advantage of that special offer. And guys, if you've been enjoying the free winners 
here on the Power 5, and I know you have been. You're going to love my premium selections. Now, 12-5-1 in all sports over the last nine days. That's after a 3-1 and one Sunday. College football, which I'll be getting into in just a little bit, is now on a 22-9 and nine run going back to last season after we hit the under last night in USC-LSU. If you didn't know I was taking the under in that game, you may not. You, you may want to study up on the Power 5. That had Brian Power written all over it. Can you believe... I'm already 3-for-3 three three with college football totals to start the season. All three were unders. All three cashed by double digits. I was also number one at Wager Talk in three different European soccer leagues last season, hitting 70% in MLB over those last nine days as well. So again, head over to wt.buzz slash bp to get that free week of winners now. All right, we go back to the Power 5. Fourth play for today is the Rangers, plus 160 on the money line versus the Yankees. These, the price on these underdogs keeps going up and up. I like that. Everyone's going to back the Yankees tonight because they lost two in a row to St. Louis over the weekend. I'm here to tell you it's a mistake. Garrett Cole, last year's Cy Young winner, he's back on the mound for New York, so that's only going to lead betters to take and want to take the pinstripes even more. And Cole did have a pretty impressive August. I'll give you that. Two runs or fewer allowed in all five starts. But his fastball is not what it once was, guys. Also, get this. The Yankees have lost three of the last four series against teams currently not in playoff position. The Rangers walked it off Sunday for their fifth win in six games. Still doesn't look like they're going back to the playoffs to defend their World Series championship, but that's okay. Momentum building with that 5-1 and one record the last six games. Texas should certainly be up for this game at home against a marquee opponent. By the way, at home, the Rangers allow an average of just 3.68 runs per game. That is third lowest in all of baseball. Jack Leiter, their starter for Monday, he was good down in AAA. He's a former number two overall draft choice. I think he steps it up, take the Rangers the big plus money price tonight. Now, before I get into the college football game, Florida State versus Boston College, that quick favor to ask all of you, please do your part to let everyone know about the Power 5, this great run we're on. By retweeting the show on X, you can, of course, find me on X at BrianPower underscore wins. Want to increase the show's visibility and your comments and retweets always beneficial in doing so. So when we send out that link later today to the show, hit the retweet button. It would be much appreciated. All right, let's round out the Power 5 for today. Florida State versus Boston College. Can FSU respond from its Week 0 loss to Georgia Tech over in Dublin? Honestly, not sure if the if the Knolls are undervalued or maybe just not very good. Bill O'Brien, we do know he's making his debut on the sidelines for Boston College. Uh, BC, they've lost six straight trips into Tallahassee. Last year at home, though, they did give the Seminoles quite the scare, only losing by two as a 25-point underdog. BC actually had a chance to win that game outright. Honestly, guys, I don't have a, a great feel for the side here, like I alluded to earlier. Odds makers, I feel they properly adjusted after FSU loses to Georgia Tech. And BC just seems like a bit of an unknown in their first game under a new coach. So instead, let's look to play the under, which is 50 right now at most shops uh, at the time we're recording. That is down from an opening number of 51.5. Circa, which I always find to be the sharpest book around, they're already down to 49.5. So that should tell you something right there. Just reading the market a bit here. DJU did not look good in his first game in a Florida State uniform. I don't think BC wants to get in a shootout here either. So under it is. All right, let's now recap the Power 5 in case you missed anything. Number one, Cardinals Brewers under eight. Number two, D backs plus 120 on the money line versus the Dodgers. Number three, Reds plus 140 on the money line versus the Astros. Number four, Rangers plus 160 on the money line versus the Yankees. And then number five, Florida State Boston College under 50. You can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. Also, if you already haven't done so, go ahead and smash that like button. Always appreciate the support. I think I've made that clear. Again, just go over to WT.Buzz right now for all my premium selections. Don't forget, again, today is your last chance to get that free week of winning picks. Also, you want to make sure you are subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel if you already haven't done so. Not only do I do the Power 5 daily, but you can't forget about the morning wager. Mark Zinno and myself, every Monday through Friday, we'll be dropping that as well on the YouTube channel today. The latest edition, always a fun time with Mark and I. But that's going to do it for the Labor Day edition of the Power 5. Again, any questions, fire them off down below. Until next time, let's cash some tickets.